All right, we are back. It's 814. We got a closer look at the future of the workplace from sabbatical leave to wellness stipends, even daycare for your parents. According to the Wall Street Journal, companies are adding new benefits and perks to keep the employees happy. And here to break it down, what we should be looking out for, NBC senior consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn. Vicki, good, good morning. morning. First of all, traveling abroad, working abroad. Tell me about this. Okay, so global rotations have been around even before the pandemic, Savannah. It's a way for companies that have that international presence to keep their employees engaged, show them different parts of the country, and give them a chance to live in different parts of the world. We're seeing that coming back. Sabbaticals. So we don't have that here. But no. in some industries, you get paid to take time off to recharge, to work on a book, to work on a project, <laughs> six months, a year. Uh, some companies would make you wait five, 10, 15 years. Now they're allowing you to take those sabbaticals, paid leave sooner. Okay. And then alternately, a leave of absence. You don't get paid, but you're guaranteed your job when you come back. It's a way to keep employees feeling like they have some, some breathing room and coming back and feeling strong. And employees have a little more leverage now because the unemployment rate is so, so low. low. Let's talk about some of these perks that you might be finding now. Yeah, Savannah, we talked with uh, Vicki Salemi from Monster. She's a career expert, and she said flexibility really is the future on the employer and employee side, and that means not a one-size-fits-all benefits package. Maybe they give a wellness stipend, a workout stipend for a gym membership, but you like to play pickleball or take tennis lessons. Why not apply that stipend to you as well? Mm. The other thing we're seeing is the American Psychological Association did a survey, and 8 in 10 respondents said mental health benefits benefits are very important to me when it comes to my employment. So you're seeing employers say, okay, we're going to lean into that. We're going to pay for your talk space uh, subscription, which is a talk therapy subscription, or your headspace, which helps you meditate instead of medicate. And you're also going to see the continuance of telehealth, which became really popular over the pandemic. That's sticking around. And finally, things like for, uh, meeting free Fridays or even a bonus for you to take your time off, your full time off for the mm -hmm. year instead of just working through it as some people do. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense for the employers too because yep. they're investing in you and hopefully it will be, um, you know, a good investment for the long term. Absolutely. Happy workers means more productive Now, people. you said a minute ago, or I said, parents, daycare. I mean, we know about parental leave, but this is this category is expanding, this family it leave. It really is. So as we are seeing paternity and maternity leave match up and also time off for people who adopt or are have a baby via surrogate. We're also seeing this thing called uh, post-maternity paternity transition, where they're allowing you to sort of ease back into your your job, maybe not come back full-time two, three days a week, which actually makes that re-entry a little bit better. I mean, yeah. you know, coming back to work, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of flexibility. Parent daycare is a huge one. So AARP did a survey and found that between the ages of 40 and 49, the workforce, more than half of us are taking care of an aging parent. So the idea that you might be able to take your parent to a subsidized care center that the employer is chipping into. So you have peace of mind at work, improves their life, your life, and overall the company's culture. So that's something to look for, parent daycare. We've seen it with little kids, but now we're seeing the sandwich generation needing to care for elderly parents as well. It makes a lot of sense because yeah. people have to miss work to take care of aging exactly. parents. So it, it does make sense. What if you don't think you have any of these things? Yeah. You don't think your employee is offering it? How do you ask or start that conversation? So you open it up with some suggestions be open-minded and know that things probably won't change overnight, but this is a worthwhile topic to bring up at your workplace, not just for you, but probably for everyone who works alongside you. Show them this segment. Start the conversation and say, we know that companies are progressing and they're offering some of these perks. What do you think we can do here? Be specific about what is important to you. Is it time off? Is it better pay? Is it more health care benefits? And then let's say they grant you a little bit of time off or they give you something. Be sure to follow up and say, you know what? After I took that sabbatical or that unpaid time off, my sales went up 50%. Mm. Make sure you keep that conversation going and make sure that you're patient. Don't give up, be persistent. Yeah, and say thank you if exactly. they do that for you. And really lay out the benefits to the company. Yes, all right, Vicki, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.